Hi, welcome back to That's Not Real Podcast, Embrace the Chaos, at YouTube at Embrace the Chaos-1317, episode 20, part C, that's my thing, it's going to be much more famous, but it hasn't caught on yet. <laughs> I feel like it's a politician thing, isn't he on the sign, like when they used to oh, say go vote? Uh, no, it's, uh, oh my god, <laughs> the army guy, we, we, we got you, Oh, that was we different, that was... But the other one was like, go vote. The guy in all blue. Oh, so, by the way, we're already off subject now. Before we get on it. Smokey. You remember Smokey, right? Smokey the Bear, yeah, of course. Okay. What's his name? Smokey the Bear. No, now they're saying that it's just Smokey Bear. And I want to fight someone over this. Well, this is that Mandela effect. No, I know. But they are insistent it's not Smokey the Bear. His name is just Smokey Bear. And I'm going to... Wait, hold on. So if his name is Smokey Bear, does that mean he was already part of the forest fire? I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're he saying he's it. a smoky bear now. Like, now he's coming out the fire. Guys, don't burn it down again. I'm feeling this right now. So, for those of you watching Mandela Effects, tell us something that personally happened that you think. Like, we used to, we just found out the name of the street we live off. Well, we don't live off it, so you can't find me that way. But you can find me other ways. It's called Hunting Creek. Just H-U-N-T-I-N-G. For the longest time since we lived here, like five years ago, we thought it was Huntington Creek. And her brother pointed out, no, it's just hunting creek. I'm telling you, there, there's things that have happened in this world. So within the five, five years, we think something happened. I don't care if it's the Monopoly guy. I don't care if it's, what is it, Shaq in the movie? Or no, Sinbad. Sinbad never made a pirate. Mirror, mirror on the wall is magic mirror on the wall. Yeah, like, what? Yeah, yeah so. there's, there's a lot of those things. I don't believe them. We're, we're in some alternate world. I'm just telling you. Yeah, it's a different timeline. Someone went back in time and squished a bug or something. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're changing things. And that's what deja vu is. You remembering that already happened. See, we're solving things now. Now we know what deja vu is. Now we are problem solvers. All right, so he had a thing with a crazy lady on the phone, so we couldn't discuss whether he had to hit her or uh, not. Uh. But this goes back to the topic of these millionaires right now are saying they can't hire anyone, like all the small business owners, the restaurant people. Stop, stop being greedy. You told all of us for the longest time. Just to order coffee at home. Just drink coffee at home. Don't have the beer and you'll be a millionaire. What happens, small business owners, once COVID made your life hard? You just fire everyone. You won't hire anyone. Yeah. I said that. <laughs> no oh. one's willing to work. No, no one's willing to work for the bullshit pay you're yeah. giving them. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to use this to go on my little rant about the sofa. So a few people have heard this. So I, ordered, I had a sofa that I ordered that broke. Horrible quality. It broke. It took months to get through this warranty process, a whole lot of phone calls, a whole lot of complaining. But was finally, it, I go in. Was it Ikea? American Freight. American Freight. Uh, so finally, I go in, and I bought other furniture from there that still lasts. That's good. But I, I go in, and the original time I talked to the first lady, she's there, and she's just basically lying to me. She's like, oh, go look around. And we look around. Oh, but we only have these two things of furniture after we look around. Who knows what's going on out there? Um, so we're going, and this lady clearly wants nothing to do with anyone, but we're in there. And she goes, well, I can't help you because it's a warranty claim. I was like, I already approved it. I just have to pick one. I can't help you. I can't help you. Send me the next guy the next day. Fine. I talked to that guy the next day. We have to order one that's on back order. Um, Everything, everything's on so back order. To use, in order to be able to use the credit and not take the, like, two that they have in store. I'm like, all right, we'll wait a month. I don't care. Three years. So a month comes by. The guy calls me. A couple days ago, on like Wednesday or some Tuesday or Wednesday, and goes, all right, so the furniture that's on back order is never coming in. So, one, that's a problem in itself. If you allow someone to back order it, have some guarantee that's coming someday. It's never coming. But he's like, all right, it's never coming in, so what I'll do is I'll, get, I'll let you have the f- first dibs on the floor model. Now, I was like, all right, we'll go look at the floor model, but I'm not a big fan of something that people are sweating on every day and sitting on every day. Laying and, down, having yeah, sex. Well, well, I hope they're not doing that at, at American Freight, but, you know, it's right by the counter. Just, so just, I mean, there is nighttime. Oh, right, well, it's not what occurred to me, okay? So I'm like, all right, we'll go in. I go in the next day. Dude's not there. But, of course, that other lady is. My, the lady who's giving me the hardest time. My wife immediately said, I really don't want to deal with this lady again. She, she is, like, the worst I've ever seen for any customer service. So our first instinct, I was like, listen, I can't remember which floor model it is that we looked at. It's been a month. Can you just, I think it's this one. Can you just tell me? Oh, I don't, there's no way for me to do I don't know how to do that. There's no way for me to do that. I'm like, so I look at her like I'm crazy, like she's crazy at this point. Her coworker goes, just help the guy. Um, 
So I'm thinking she's just a bad employee at this point. He, he doesn't know how podcasts So we, we, we go in. We, we go in. She looks it up. I said, can you just look up? She finally looks it up, tells me the floor model, it, it does look. Someone's literally sitting on it, sweating at the moment. They're so, sweating? Yes, yeah. they sweat. Uh, so I'm like, all right, we're not going to get this floor model. We, I was like, he said he'd give me a credit for a different one. Can you just, well, he's not here, so I don't know how to do it. Come, come by tomorrow. There's going to be a guy named Chris there tomorrow. I'm like, fine, what time? 10 o'clock. I get there at 10.05 or, I'm sorry, 10.10. Oh, he just left. You open at 10. What do you mean he just left? I so leave too. I'm assuming this guy's like the manager. I'm like, I write down my phone number. Call me when he gets back. He, she said he just forgot something at his house. Call me when he gets back. I go back an hour and a half later because she never called. My number's sitting on the counter still. She looks at me. I'm greeted by the guy who's not, who's not there. Nah. Because then he greets me. I'm like, he helps me. No problems. Takes two seconds. We go to, I deal with everything. I get it picked up. As I'm getting it picked up, I'm like, thank you for being a better employee. I'm assuming you're the owner or the manager because she couldn't do the stuff and you could. No, that's my assistant manager. <laughs> I, I'm just a regular employee. I'm like, wait, so two people helped me with the regular employees and a person who couldn't do anything and clearly didn't want the business was the assistant manager. I was like, that, that spells this world to a T to me. I was like... Uh, it is. That's, that's literally right now. And that, that is the really short version, but it, it, you probably would have thrown something at this lady. <laughs> right. It, it goes back to people don't want to do their jobs. That's, that's an issue, right? And then people don't want to work for the money they're getting paid for. But I think a lot of it comes back down to it. They're just tired. They're like, I'm tired of doing four people's work. You're saying you won't hire them because you can't. I try to get three friends hired. <laughs> You're not hiring any of them. Oh, a whole a whole water park just shut down because they said they couldn't find any lifeguards. They'd rather shut down the whole park than admit they're not willing to pay lifeguards more money. Yeah, it, it makes it's capitalism, guys. Is what you do. You when workers when you need workers and you have demand for them, you pay more money. Well, for them. and a lot of the problem is people want more money because of inflation. Everything costs so much more. And Everything they're like, costs. They're like. Well, no, you're going to get to... You remember back in the day, Lego, no matter what, give a 3% raise, right? Every, yep, every year, every 3% cost a little bit raise. I'm not saying all of Lego, so I'm not getting sued by anyone. I'm saying when we worked at Lego, that was their deal. They gave a 3% cost of living increase. Um, and, but the problem is the cost of living increases now do not equal the cost of inflation increases. So people well, are getting frustrated, approved. but they don't want to eat the cost. Right, no, the, yeah, the, the rich people who said... Drink your coffee at home. Yeah. Can't, can't figure it out. And all of a sudden, they're tough. They're like, oh, we're just not going to hire one. We're going to leave off the back. So just, we got two servers in the entire Yeah, and, they cut, and now they're cutting weird costs that don't even make sense. Like, there's a, in the office I'm forced to go to, uh, and I don't get into work too much because actually, most of the time, like my job, most of the time. Uh, Same. But now I'm, like, forced, during COVID, when it was all political, we were 100% remote. Now I'm, now I'm back four days a week so I can sit in the office by myself. But they've always had, like, a water dispenser and a coffee machine. So people who drink coffee, there's, like, nine different flavors. There used to be hot chocolate. I'm like, all right, I'll drink hot chocolate because I don't do coffee. Yeah, I was no, like, I'll do hot chocolate. And now I still do, but I, I supply my own because they said, well, we can't afford, like, they won't let me order outside of these nine options. So they have, like, nine different types of coffee, but they can't do hot chocolate because people are cutting costs in weird ways. So if you're an employer and you're against hot chocolate, I'm just saying screw you right now. Hire, hire the people you need. We know the person that was working, two people in a full restaurant. That, that should never be how yeah. many servers there are. And it's like, oh, well, why is customer service so bad? Because you're supposed to have 10 people on shift and you have three. Now, sometimes it's just bad employees we get. Oh, yeah, no, no there's a lot of bad employees that right. don't want to do their job. I, I get that. Hire the ones that do and give them more money than the bad guy. Yeah, the ones who are doing really good, don't pay them the same as the ones who are doing really bad. Or guess what? They're not going to want to keep doing really good for a long period of time. Right? Like, I think it was, I think Colorado made a great law that when you put an advertisement out for a job, you have to put the, the hiring salary. Oh, that, Some that should it. be a law everywhere. Right, because it's everywhere. So companies are trying to go around and they're trying to hire people, pay them more money than their current employees that are already better. They, they want to try to lowball what they can get. Right, so they're uh, trying to see what, how Oh, low you don't have as much experience. And I'm okay if they put it in a lot. Hey. Yeah, you can put a range in there. Yeah, I see some like. 40 to 60,000. All right, that's a big fluctuation, but I'm making that risk. I know, I know and, what and the it, bottom is. Right, and, and, well, and they put, like, the experience they're looking for that right. gets to one end or the other. But when you just like, oh, yeah, we're hiring people. And then 
And it's stop like, putting... We want an MBA with 20 years experience for $18 an hour. Yeah. Well, I could go work at Sheets for eighteen fifty. Yeah, and stop <laughs> putting these ridiculous qualifications or specifications of what your job actually is. So if it's a McDonald's worker, don't have 19 complicated paragraphs of what you think an employee is to make yourself sound smart. Because guess what? The really intelligent employees who are the hardworking ones at the very least... You're chasing them off because they're like, oh, screw that. If this is what they call changing, if this is what they call serving fries, I can only imagine what the Yeah, it's like the people who resumes who put down, I wake up every morning or whatever it is. Oh, amazing. I've woken up every single day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I have, I have a great way of feeling the sunshine on my forehead as a fancy way of saying I know how to walk outside. Like, just keep it. Quit what you're actually looking for in a job. If you want someone who knows Excel, hey, I want someone who knows Excel because you're going to be building a whole lot of them. And like, if you're certified, you get it. But you get companies that like want so many years' experience and something that's only been out for like three years. <laughs> it's like, like there's a story going around on over time. Story going around, they're like trying to hire a guy and he applied for it. And they said, well, we want someone with experience. He's like, I, I created this program. Like he helped develop the program. He's like, it's only been around. No, we need someone with more experience. He's like, who's I? I helped to build the program. I've done every single... Well, we need someone five years. It's only been around... We built it three years it ago. Exist. <laughs> so, employers, long story short, stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. And last piece I want to throw out there before we close out. Uh, we've got some family members uh, in, in a really rough place. So, shout out to the kids and the family of those who are struggling right now. So, my heart's with you. Man, you took that down, Dark Road. Hey... I had a shout out to them. They're no, going no, I get stuff. it. We, we need we need to protect people that that need protection. Yeah. All right, but I'll let you close it out. That is it. We hope to see you guys next week. Um, and, and tune in. Keep help us get to a million views. That's, a million that's views. our next goal. Yeah.